Hi everyone, it's James again for Eurovision Island with another episode of Review in 2, where I have two minutes, or less, to talk about all the songs heading to Eurovision 2020. So today we're going to take a look at Italy, Diodato and Fai Rumore. Now, let's face it, Italy can send practically anything they want to Eurovision and we're going to lap it up. I was doing a bit of research on this because I was curious. At 45 years at the Eurovision Song Contest, Italy have only placed lower than the top 10 12 times. That's crazy, isn't it? I mean, that means three quarters of all Italian entries end up in the top ten almost by default. That's amazing. And I think Fai Romore is probably going to do the exact same thing. Now, it is very Italian. It's that sort of classic Italian ballad, you know, soft piano, male vocals. It sort of builds into this beautiful crescendo. So it's not exactly groundbreaking in that respect. It's something we have seen Italy do before. But it is a very nice example of that genre. Now, with songs like this, I think it's very much the performance that is going to sell it. I remember a few years ago listening to L'Essenziale and thinking, OK, it's nice, you know, it's not bad. That. But then you sort of watch the performance, you see it live, you connect with that performer, and then suddenly it clicks and you get it. And I think Fai Mori is very much going to be in the same genre. Has it going to get Italy back into the top ten? Almost certainly. You know, there's no doubt about that. Is it enough to win? Mm, I'm not sure yet being completely honest. I think it's definitely enough to do well, and I think Italy have nothing to worry about in that respect. Winning? Well, I don't know. We're only a couple of songs in. We'll see. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Italy. Keep checking back to Eurovision Island for more episodes of Review 2. Grazie mille, arrivederci.